Now let's turn to my colleague Paul Hawkins, GB News national correspondent. He's in Jaywick in Essex. That's officially listed as one of the most deprived areas of the country. Paul, great to have you on the show. You've been looking at how this cost of living squeeze is being felt among residents in Jaywick. Yeah, good afternoon, Liam. That's right. It's been rated uh, the most deprived area in England, in fact, for the last 12 years. So people here, they're not just living on the edge now. They've been living on the edge for some time. We talk about the cost of living, and this is really about the cost of surviving. So food banks like this, where we are this afternoon, where we've been all morning, are doing really valuable work. You can see here, this is some of the food that's been available for the clients to come and collect. So over here, more fresh produce as well. I should add that this facility, by the way, it started out as a charity shop, so it's been doing all sorts of good things in the community. Over here, you can see lots of the stuff there. Um, that's how it started out, but for the past 18 months, really, during the pandemic, it has been uh, set up as a food bank to try and help people with the cost of living. People who are struggling to heat their homes, they're struggling to put food on the table. We can speak now to Karen Wood, who's from the uh, Jerick Sands Community Land Trust. Uh, Karen, very well, thank you. Um, thanks for speaking to us on GB News. First of all, just how, how important, how vital are services like this that you're providing? It's very important at the moment because of the, uh, the lack of money in a lot of households with the upholding of the rates and everything going up, the rents going up, the conditions that we have to live in. Um, that's why we built what we've done, is to help everybody in our community and feel they've got somewhere to go, that someone will actually help them. And that's what we've been doing. And it's the community that has built this themselves by donating little what they have it's for us to give back something for them. Yes. So we work as a team in Jaywick, yeah. and that's what I find very passionate about this little town that's been forgotten. Yeah. How, how, we are. Well, how busy have you been? Like, how many um, bags we a week are you giving 80, out? We've been about 80 to 120 a week. Uh, with the COVID, obviously, we did a delivery, uh, so nobody could get out at that point. So we did our actual walking delivery. Uh, we had volunteers go around and risk their lives to give what they could for the community. Yeah. So to me, that was an amazing. But you're experiment. but you're expecting this food bank to get much busier, especially much. especially I after mean, April. We, we we have actually expanded from two two places to when I first come along. Um, I took over the passionate um, position of making this a viable place for the community. Yeah. Um, that any child that walks in here that has troubles in their life due to what's going on with parents or housing or whatever, has a free book and they can come here and talk to us at any time and they actually do enjoy coming here. So it's not just about adults, it's mm. about children, it's about anybody with mental health. What we can do for them if we can, mm. we will try our best. Yeah, and a quick word on Jerick's reputation, which has perhaps been portrayed unfairly by some in the media. When I first arrived here, I had nothing. But my quality of life since I've been in Jaywick has been fantastic. The beaches and the clean air, the housing obviously needs attention, but I think that's what actually gives it the bad reputation. More people are starting to put in funding to be able to build their houses and the foundation a sustainable for the yeah. But it's not happening quickly enough. As I know this week, three people are moving out of their homes because families do not put the money in to give them the warmth that they deserve in their homes. So they're literally leaving Jaywick, yeah. they're moving out of their homes because they're too cold. Yeah, that is exactly and they don't have the heating. That is exactly it. Yeah. So that, we do our best, we give them the advice we can. We do CAB, we help them with the um, financial side, we have a gentleman who works for us now voluntary that helps with the benefit side, so yeah. if somebody's got someone to run to if they've got problems. So we are trying to fill in every gap that we can. Yeah. But we can only do what we can do. Yeah. And if we weren't here, it'd be a massive hole in Jaywick. 